Lal Rikramatunga founded the Sunday Leader with his brother Lasantha in the mid-1990s. Lasantha Rikramatunga, who edited the paper and was a vocal critic of the government, was shot dead a few months before the 26-year civil war ended. He expected nothing to happen. And he constantly said, God is on my side because I'm on the right side. Several press freedom groups believe Lasantha Rikramatunga's killing was orchestrated by those with links to the president, accusations the government denies. I would uh, refute that, so those charges because as far as the press freedom is concerned, there is no control as such uh, when it comes to the press. But this week's Commonwealth Head of Government meeting in Colombo has put international attention on Sri Lanka's alleged post-conflict human rights violations. The pattern of violence that followed the end of the civil war included a period of what's called white van attacks in which dozens of people from journalists to social activists were abducted in commercial vehicles. Many were beaten, some never returned including Sandhya Egnelagoda's husband, Pragith, a well-known illustrator whose political cartoons mock the government. This mural, painted by her two young sons, depicts the abduction. She tells us she knows who's responsible for her husband's nearly three-year disappearance. The Sri Lankan government and President Mahindra Rajapaksa are behind it, which is why I have no faith I will get my husband back. And while Sri Lanka's media is expanding, its independence, press freedom advocates say, is continuing to shrink. Imtiaz Tayeb, Al Jazeera, Colombo.